Looking for ideas on quick, easy and fun things to draw? Well, you're in the right place, my friends, because today we're doodling 10 cute little birds from toucans to flamingos to owls. I'm going to show you how to draw these step by step. Let's start with a parrot. We do an oval body, leaving a gap for the wing. We'll give it a curved beak, and as soon as you draw that, your bird will resemble a parrot. Cute, isn't it? Next, a toucan. To make your bird look like a toucan, draw a bill that is large compared to its body size. Toucans look great in a tropical setting, so I'm going to draw a large monstera leaf around it, just to give it that tropical vibe. about a flamingo next? Start with an S-shaped neck, then give it a teardrop shaped body and long legs. try and do a robin next. We'll draw a plump little body, a beak, wings and tail feathers and I'm doing some heart patterns on the wings for a fun look and I'll add some music notes to show that our bird is singing. I enjoy this fun exercise of turning basic shapes into birds and other animals and this bird of ours is an example where you start with a triangle and end up with a bird as soon as you draw in those eyes, beaks, wings and tail feathers. Simple and cute. How about a peacock next? Start with a long body. I'm pointing the beak upwards to give it a proud look. We all know the saying, proud as a peacock, so we're trying to get that look. Finish off with a large ornamental tail, where I'm basically connecting these teardrop shapes to the body using straight lines. Next, let's try and draw a bird like it's sitting with its back turned towards us. Perhaps it could be sitting on a branch. You could give it some beautiful long tail feathers and that would make it look so pretty. How about an owl? Start with an oval head and draw in a heart-shaped face for the eyes and the beak. A teardrop shaped wing. Now our owl could be sitting on a tree branch in the night so you could draw in moon and some stars in the background. How about drawing in a bird with some folk patterns on its bodies of dots, triangles and other basic shapes? You can add as many or as few details as you like. Our 
final bird, my friends, it's a little chick. A plump body, eyes, a triangle for the beak, wings, and it comes together in a few strokes of the pen. So cute, isn't it? I like to finish off by looking at the composition as a whole and adding in some colors, dots, sparkles, and patterns to tie in all the different elements together so the page looks nice as a whole. So there you are my friends, our 10 cute little bird doodles. I had so much fun drawing these and I hope you did too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.